Well, with warmer weather in the forecast, that means many of us will be getting out to enjoy the spring air. But for many, they want to use the time to warn others. News 10's Garrett Brown went down to southern Indiana today. He has more on a week centered on safety around animals. Postal workers spend hours delivering mail all across town. But with that comes risk, especially when it comes to animals. William Stanley has been delivering mail for the U.S. Postal Service in Vincennes for 14 years. But a few months ago, he had a first while on his route. Stanley was attacked by a dog. I didn't need stitches, so that was a good thing. But it bruised, and but it could have been a little kid. And that's a, that could be that would have been a bad deal. Incidents like that are the reason for National Dog Bite Prevention Week. State Farm says last year Indiana was ranked ninth in the nation when it came to dog-related injury claims. Illinois was even further up the list, taking second. It's definitely something that needs to be addressed. Um, owner awareness on keeping your dog contained in a, a safe and appropriate way that, you know, is, is good for the dog. The Vincent's Animal Shelter responds to multiple calls a day related to loose dogs. Any of those calls bring the potential for an accident. That's why they urge anyone who comes across a dog who seems uneasy to use caution. If it's got its ears pinned back and its tail tucked, um, if, if its body posture is rigid, don't approach it. Just back off. Don't turn around and run because then it's going to want to chase. But just back off and give it its distance. Stanley says one accident isn't going to stop him from loving his job. But he does hope everyone takes extra caution when out on the streets. Thinking all the time, that, especially after you get bit, that, that kind of wakes you up more. But you got to keep in the back of your head that every dog will bite. The Vincent's Animal Shelter stresses to reach out to animal control if you come across a dog that could be violent. They'll do their best to capture the dog and return it back to its owner. Back to you.